Hey, cowboy, why don't you try to close your eyes, huh? It's all right. I'm gonna stay right here till your mom and dad get home. I'm not going anywhere, I promise. Uncle Hal? That's me. Are they still looking for Casey? Sure. You know, your mom and your dad, they're the best at finding people. Yeah, I know, but he's really good at hiding. Yeah, but I ain't got a feeling Casey's gonna turn up. I think he's gonna be just fine. No. I think they need my help. Whoa, partner, where are you headed off to, huh? To change and get my flashlight. Well, you know what? That is really good thinking, wanting to help your brother like that. But don't forget that your mom wants us to stay here. Yeah, I know. That's right. We're a team. And we've got the most important job, you know, waiting for that phone call. But who's the phone call from? I wish I knew, buddy. I wish I knew. Sweetie, you gotta remember. Casey's only been missing half a day. But the longer we don't hear anything, the worse the odds are. We're gonna beat the odds, sweetie. There's still a small possibility that whoever took this boy, there might be an explanation. Tom, if you really believe that, you wouldn't have gone to Mason to try and get answers, would you? I was wrong, honey. I shouldn't have lost my temper. Oh, God, I can't believe that Casey's one of these kids now. I can't believe we may never see him. I don't need a handkerchief, no. I know you don't, sweetie. You're holding up better than I am. Let me see your picture, Casey. It might be more recent than mine. The sooner we get these things in the newspaper and on television, the better off we're going to be. Yeah. Somebody's got to recognize him. Somebody's got to know something. Anything. You already made a start with that kid in the park, sweetie. We're going to get him back. I swear. phone's been quiet. I know it's working because I checked it about a dozen times. Try not to worry too much, Margo. It's early. The ransom demand could be coming by mail for all we know. Yeah. You can set it up over there, okay? So how's Adam? You know, I think he thinks that Casey's just playing hide-and-seek or something like that. No. He's smarter than that. He knows what's going on. Well, he's a trooper, I'll tell you. He wanted to get his flashlight, help you and Tom look for Casey. He sure loves his little brother. That's obvious. I just got him upstairs. He's pretty keyed up, though, so I don't know if he's going to sleep. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to tell him that Casey's been kidnapped. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go. Check in on him. I can't do that. You'll see how scared I am, and he'll just freak out. So I'll just I'll look in on him later. How'd it go downtown? Oh, you know Tom paid Mason a visit. Yeah, I heard about it. Yeah, I wasn't there, but apparently he lost it. It's not like him. Well, his son's missing. It's making him crazy. I know. I just keep thinking that Casey's just lost, you know? And pretty soon someone's gonna you know, knock on the door and say, here's your baby. It could happen. It could. Do me a favor, huh? Sure. Why don't you head downtown and hang out with Tom and just keep an eye on him and make sure he doesn't lose his temper again. You got it. You sure you're gonna be all right here alone? 
Oh, I'm not gonna be alone, you know, got him, and, and I'm just gonna monitor the phones, and I gotta, I gotta go through these photo albums here, because Tom wants to, wants to get a photo circulated of Casey as soon as possible. Uh, you know, it might be a good idea to keep Casey's last name anonymous. Why? If the press identifies him as a DA son, we're gonna have every nut job in the state calling up. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'll see what I can do for Tom. He was wearing a blue shirt with a sailboat on it, red shorts, and white sneakers. And I really need your help on this. So check out all the airports. Check out every bus station within a 200-mile radius. Uh, get his picture in the newspapers. Call the TV stations. And hopefully somebody somewhere has seen him. Margo and I really, really appreciate this. I got to go, and thanks. Bye. Well? Nobody called Tom, I'm sorry. God! Margo's at home going through pictures of Casey. He's worried about you. I can't believe I was this stupid! Hey, this is not your fault. It is my fault. I got overconfident. As soon as I got Mason thrown in jail, I thought this whole thing was over and I wasn't thinking. Don't do this to yourself. I got careless and my son's paying for it. Hey, you couldn't keep the kids hiding out forever. I should have seen this thing coming. The bottom line is that I am responsible for Casey's kidnapping. You were doing your job. Mason plea bargained. It was a done deal. Nobody saw this coming, Tom. I should have. You want to get mad at somebody? Yeah. Get mad at the people who did this instead of wasting time on a guilt trip. Let's go get them. How? I've done everything. There's an APB out on him. His picture's going to be in the newspaper. Yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. A you line followed tap in the all house. the procedure, Tom. Now you got to think like them. You got to put yourself in their shoes. How did they know where Casey was? Where could they have taken him? To the safe house we searched. There you go. That's where the shot. Let's go. If he's in there, I don't want him to be in any more danger. We have two options, Tom. Negotiate or rush the place. What if this is a mistake? I'll play it any way you call it, Tom. It's your call. No, it's not. Not entirely. Picking up pictures that look most like Casey so that people can help us find him. What's this stuff for? Don't touch it, honey. It's very important equipment. It tells us what people have called and where they called from. Is it going to be hard finding Casey? I don't know. I'm just going to have to wait and see. Adam, you okay? Yeah, I, I cleaned up Casey's room so he won't get in any more trouble with you. Hey. Listen, Casey's not in any trouble with us. He isn't? No. No, what happened isn't his fault, honey. It's somebody else that made a mistake. Um, well then... I, I, I think he's lucky. Why's that? Because he has you and Dad. I mean, everyone knows you can fix anything. 
You're such a bright kid, you know that? <laughs> I love you, baby. You know what I need you to do? I need you to go upstairs and get in your bed and stay there. Okay. Good night. Uh, good night, I love you. I love you too. Go. I told you not to do that. This is Margo Hughes. Honey, it's me. Any contact? No, nothing yet. Where are you? We're outside the safe house where Mason kept the guns. Casey? They've got Casey in there? I don't know, sweetie. It's possible. Oh, my God. We need your help, sweetie. Okay, yeah. I'm on my way. No, no, no. We have a question I need to ask you. Uh, we need to know whether we should rush the house or negotiate. Do they know that you're out there? I don't think there's any way they could. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to call Marilyn, and I'll get down there as soon as I can. Margo, wait. What? We don't have time for that. I got to be there, Tom. You got to be by the phone. You can't ask me to do that, not when Casey's in there. By the time you get down here, we will have lost our advantage. Now listen, Hal's with me. He has backup. Okay. If you can surprise them, odds say you go in. Odds? Well, you gotta know, Tom. Police always negotiate. Rushing in is too risky. I want to know what you do. I don't know. I mean, I can't make this decision when Casey's in there. I mean, I'm trying to think like a cop, but he's my son. What if I'm wrong? God, I hate these people. I say, you go in, let's end it our way. I agree. Be careful. I can't lose you. You're not going to lose me, honey. You know how much I love you. Remember that. I love you, too. So you call me when you find out anything. I will. We go in. Run the door over the back. What do you want me? but I, if I needed to get lucky, today's the day. Hey, hey. Weren't there some old storage bins, buried storage bins out in the back? Go take a look at those, Doyle. You empty put my son in a storage out. bin? Just let go. We're empty. I did find this. It's not his. Maybe they were using it to keep him quiet. No, no, I remember seeing this the last time we searched the place. It doesn't mean anything. Damn it! <sighs> All right, look, this place is empty. Nobody's been here since the last time we searched it. Let's go. Tom. I gotta call my wife. You need to go home. That maybe he was going to be here. You need to be at home with Margo and Adam. I don't know what to do, man. This is scaring me. They got my son. I mean, where's my little boy? <laughs> 